It was all supposed to be so easy, but nothing these days goes as planned. I would ask that you suspend to later today. The plan was simple. All parties would come together to unanimously approve the aid package, $82 billion in financial support for Canadians and companies hurt by COVID-19. But the Liberals slipped extra powers into the package to allow for significant spending decisions without parliamentary oversight. It is an exceptional situation that uh, requires extreme flexibility and rapidity of response by governments to be able to help Canadians. So politics flared up in the middle of a pandemic. The Conservatives refused to approve the package unless the Liberals dropped the power grab. We could very quickly pass the assistance. We could take those off and get that passed right away. The NDP said drop the surprises, vote on the aid. Every moment that we delay is, is going to make it harder for Canadians. The bloc offered a middle ground. Let the Liberals have the powers, but only until September. Like many other governments throughout uh, Western countries, the government should have such rights, but for a shorter period of time. And so what was supposed to happen quickly led to marathon negotiations behind closed doors. $82 billion in aid hanging in the balance. And Andrew, I can tell you right now that those negotiations are continuing, but high-level sources across multiple political parties tell us that progress has been made and the chances of reaching a deal this evening appear quite likely at this point. As we understand it, the government's not going to be getting everything that it was looking for when this bill was first drafted. It will be getting more powers to respond to COVID-19, but likely with a time limit like what we just heard from the Bloc Québécois leader. So this could be the compromise that gets a deal. We're told this is still hours away from being finalized, but the chances are increasing of this being tabled in Parliament tonight, being passed by the MPs who have gathered, then going to the Senate tomorrow, and then hopefully getting those checks out the door as quickly as possible. All right, David, we'll keep watching. Thanks for this. Thank you.